uh, soldiers' work established uh, with sufficient certainty and clarity uh, that the Japanese fascist empire was not going to invade uh, the Soviet Far East. And the Soviet leadership in Moscow had sufficient trust in him to believe that judgment uh, that they transferred enormous troop resources from the Soviet Far East where it was dug in, waiting for an expected attack uh, by Japanese fascism. And these forces were able to be redeployed in enormous numbers uh, to defend Moscow in the siege and to relieve Stalingrad and allow uh, the Soviet Red Army to move from defensive to offensive operations, turn the course of the battle of Stalingrad and therefore turn the course of the war. As we've said together many times, if it were not for uh, the Red Army victories uh, at Stalingrad and Kursk and the Red Army's uh, progress across uh, German-occupied Europe and into Germany itself, uh, then the Second World War uh, could certainly not have been won and would almost certainly have been entirely lost. And we wouldn't be speaking to each other this evening in any language. Uh, and if we were speaking at all, it would definitely be the language of fascism.